Hello and welcome to Winslow Academy. In this part of this tutorial we're going to look at algorithm cheat sheet which is presented by scikit-learn. So first, in the last lecture we looked upon accuracy matrices where we looked at MAE and RMSE for two ways of evaluating our accuracy of our prediction algorithm. If you want to look at that lecture then please look to my channel and find the video which is part 8 in this series. So, what we are going to focus on in this lecture is this algorithm cheat sheet presented by Scikit, which is a framework that we used prior in this uh, tutorial. What is smart about this is that you can navigate around and based on different parameters you can actually get to know what kind of algorithm might, is, might suit your dataset the best based on the context that you are in and the data that you have available. So first off you will be starting right here and then you are going to follow different yes and no scenarios and in the end you will end up with a given algorithm which is included in the scikit framework that you are, can implement right away. But I will navigate over to their model on the website, I will be linking it in the description and you will also have the link right here if you want to type it manually because then when sh when we follow these paths and we get to a box which is algorithm we can actually click on it and get right into the documentation so for example if we start here and we can say that we have more than 50 samples if we don't then obviously we need more because we can't do much with an algorithm if we don't have enough data but we would say that we have so we say yes then we are saying that we are predicting our category we will follow the yes again and do we have labeled data we will just present that we have and then we have less than 100k samples and then we will try this linear SVC which is the current algorithm that it recommend so we will click this and then we will get right into the documentation of how to implement this using the scikit-learn framework and there will be some theory and so on. So this is really a nice cheat sheet that you should always remember to look at when you have a given data set and you are unsure what kind of algorithm you should be implementing. So this will give you a nice idea about what algorithm to use but also what kind of algorithms are present in the different areas. For example classification, clustering, regression and dimensionality reduction. Because these are different areas within this machine learning framework and it is good to be familiar with what kind of options are available and what kind of algorithm benefit different scenarios. So this was all for this lecture. Remember to subscribe and like and then I will see you in the next lecture.